Which would you rather have, $15 or $200? Well, that's how much money you might be losing out on with your current bank. If you happen to have $5,000 in an average savings account that earns only 0.3% interest, then you're missing out on easy cash where you should be getting at least 12 times better returns from your bank. Hi everyone, Brian here, and in today's video I plan to cover the six best banks available with the highest interest rates. So how exactly does a person define what the best bank is? What's best for me may not be best for you. We each have different preferences for what we like and the services that we're looking for. The common phrase of everyone's taste is different couldn't be more true. And I plan to break up the banks into two groups in hopes that it appeals to the broadest audience. The first group is the highest interest rate available, but also has a couple of requirements or limitations on that high interest rate. The second group is going to be the ones that have no major requirements whatsoever. Let's take a moment to jump into my disclaimers. For all the banks that I review today, they must have a no fee structure. And that means no fees for having a minimum and definitely no monthly fees for having the account. Most every one of these are gonna be online banks with no physical branches. And that's how they're able to offer these high rates. And I realize that's probably gonna turn off a lot of people, but if physical banks are your preference, then I highly recommend that you check out your local credit union because they tend to offer the highest rates for having physical stores. Because as of today, the average savings account is at 0.3% APY. And I'm guessing that there's a lot of people out there that don't even get above 0.1%. And I need to point out one of the major drawbacks for online banks, and that happens to be making a cash deposit. Most online banks utilize a service called Green Dot that charges you a fee of $4 and 95 cents per deposit. If you regularly make cash deposits and that's a requirement for you, then an online bank probably is not a good fit for you. Now I also need to point out that rates at banks change nearly every week. So if you see this video and the rates don't jive with what you're seeing, just recognize that the banks can change their rates at any given moment, up or down. And if you've seen any of my other banking videos, then you know that I have a free tool where you can quickly compare all of these banks that I'm reviewing plus more. And I'll cover that free tool later on. And my last disclaimer is that I am not being paid by any of these banks that I'm reviewing. It's all my personal review of these banks based on what they're offering at the time of filming. With all that covered, let's jump in with the first group of banks with the highest rates with the most requirements or limitations. And I'm showcasing these in no particular order so it doesn't seem like I'm giving any form of preference. I'll start with the first bank that has requirements and that happens to be Digital Federal Credit Union Savings which is at a whopping 6.17%. I'm guessing that many of you already know about this bank with such a high rate and you probably also know that it's only good for the first $1,000 in your account. If you hold anything over $1,000, then the excess get a rate of 0.15%. This is an account that's great for a younger audience that doesn't have much in savings, but they'll earn the highest rate possible on their savings. There are no fees associated with this account, and the minimum to open is only $5. But because it is a credit union, you do need to meet the membership requirements, which isn't terribly difficult. Their website lists all the employers and organizations that are allowed to join. For instance, if you are or were a student of the University of Phoenix online, then you're approved. If this bank is of interest to you, then they do offer a checking account that has a 0.2% APY up to $30,000, which is better than nothing. But there are better checking accounts available in this video. They do offer 80,000 ATMs in their network. And if you do use an ATM that is out of their network, they do pay up to $300 a year in ATM fees. To summarize, their savings account rate is the highest available, but it's for such a small amount of money that the bank is for a very select group of people. The last bank that has some form of requirement on their rate is SoFi Bank. And this happens to be one of my favorite banks that fits my personal needs. The rate today for their savings account is at 3.75%, and their checking account is at 2.5%. Very few banks offer a rate on their checking accounts, and 2.5% is one of the highest that you're going to find. Now, I did mention that they have a requirement, and that is that you need to have a monthly direct deposit. And thankfully, they have no minimum requirement on what that deposit amount is. If you don't have direct deposit, though, then your rate does drop way down to 1.2%. So if direct deposit is a deal breaker for you, then I wouldn't even consider SoFi because there are many better options with zero requirements. Now, if you do bank with SoFi and you meet their requirements, then they are a great bank because of all the extra features. Plus, they do offer up to a $250 sign-on bonus depending on the amount of your direct deposit amount within the first 25 days. As for the features that I like about SoFi, let's begin with the vaults where you can create separate savings vaults for things like vacations, taxes, or even larger purchases. Many banks require that you set up separate accounts for things like that, but I do appreciate having a dedicated vault for specific savings needs and all of the vaults continue to have the same rate as the savings account. And like many other banks, they offer the two-day early paycheck, 
no overdraft fees, and they offer ATMs with all point network of 55,000 retail locations. And if you happen to be new to SoFi, they offer student loan refinancing, personal loans, mortgages, insurance, and investing all from one company. It's truly a one-stop shop, but one feature that I think a lot of you could get a lot of value from is their financial insights, where it reviews your spending habits and you can set your own personal spending goals. And it also provides a credit score monitor, completely free to its customers. To wrap up SoFi, they offer a ton of features with a very good rate on both their savings and their checking, but they do have a major drawback in requiring direct deposit in order to get the best rates. Now I'm gonna shift gears a bit, move on to the banks with the best rates with no requirements. I'll start with Wealthfront Cash Account, where the current rate is at 4.05%. Now this is not a traditional savings account, and it doesn't come with the basic 250,000 in FDIC coverage. Instead, it's a money account where they manage your funds across multiple banks so that you have up to $2 million on FDIC coverage for a single account, or up to $4 million for a joint account. Their minimum to open an account is at $1, and Wealthfront has a no fee structure. There's no requirement of direct deposit or anything else. It does come with a debit card and access to 19,000 ATMs with access to your paycheck two days early if you do have direct deposit. Now, one of the downfalls for me is that they state that they offer bill pay, but it isn't truly bill pay. It's merely an account transfer or using your debit card. I am not a huge fan of how they sort of cover up that detail, so be cautious if you plan to switch over to them with the expectation of having a traditional bill pay because it's not. But in wrapping up Wealthfront, if you have millions of dollars to park and you want it insured, then this is a really good option for you because you can do it all through one account on Wealthfront. And given that they don't have any requirements in getting the 4.05%, they are a very good option for a lot of us. The next bank with no requirements is Ally Bank with a rate of 3.4%, and their checking account rate is at 0.25%. And as I stated, they have no fees, no direct deposit requirements, nothing that will keep you from getting that 3.4% APY. I often compare Ally with SoFi in the fact that they both offer a ton of added features like loans and zero commission trading. And similar to SoFi, Ally has savings buckets where you can pull your money for specific needs all while maintaining the same 3.4% rate. And I'm not gonna lie, I sort of like how Ally rubs it in the faces of the big brick and mortar stores of how their rates truly compare. One item that I love about Ally is that they reimburse up to $10 a month in ATM fees. Not many banks do this and I appreciate the extra coverage. Now there are a couple of items about Ally that aren't my favorite, and the first is that they don't offer any option for a cash deposit. While almost all of the banks I've reviewed does have some form of cash deposit, even if it does come with a fee. And the last item for Ally that is a bit subpar is their rate on their checking account at 0.25%. But hey, if you're only interested in the low hassle savings account with a lot of features, then Ally may be a very good fit for you. And the next bank with no requirements is UFB Direct at a whopping 4.55% APY. That is just bonkers to me to have such a high interest rate. And the great part is there is no limit on the amount in your account that gets the 4.55%. Just keep in mind that FDIC insurance only covers up to $250,000. This account is pretty great with no minimum to open, but there are two things with this account that make me flinch just a little bit. And the first is that all of the services are actually offered by the parent bank called Axos. And I reviewed them in the past and they didn't make the list in this video because their rates weren't competitive enough but they are somehow under the brand of UFB Direct. And the other thing that I don't love is that their terms and conditions are 34 pages long. And yes, I read them all for this video and it was an incredible read. Said nobody, ever. Adding to the downside, they don't offer a checking account, but the savings account has some of the features that are like a checking account with the ability to pay bills and deposit checks. But that's it, it doesn't have a debit card. However, it does come with a dedicated ATM card with access to 90,000 ATMs, which is a very unique feature for a dedicated savings account. But to summarize UFB Direct, the requirements are non-existent. The rate is at 4.55% with no deposit limit. And for being a dedicated savings account, it's kind of phenomenal. Before I go over the latest bank, I do want to remind you that I have a free tool that I update about every two weeks with the latest rates across about 20 different banks. So even if you see this video one month, six months, or even a year from now, you can still look up the latest rates. I'll quickly review the tool right after this last bank, so stick around if you want to see that. And now on to the last bank of Primus Bank, which has a rate of 4.35% where it has no fees or requirements at that rate. No minimum balance, no minimum transactions, nothing. 
And if you can imagine it, in January of this year, their account was up above 5% for their offered rate, but it was so successful that they quickly dropped the rate down to 4.35%. And as I stated at the beginning of this video, banks can change their rates daily, whenever they want. And as for opening an account at Primus, it only takes $1, and there's no cap to how much you can have in your account at that rate. And one of the things that sets Primus above the rest is that their checking account rate is also at 4.35%. That makes them the best option for a bank having the highest checking and savings account rate. And if you're lucky enough to live in Virginia or Maryland, then you have access to one of their 31 physical branches, where the checking account comes with free 40 pack of checks, free in-person services like notaries, and they also offer free cashier's checks. On top of all of that, they do cover the ATM fees each month from using an out-of-network ATM. And I'd researched their site extensively, but I couldn't see what the cap for the ATM fee coverage is. Unlimited, maybe? I don't know. As a quick summary of Primus Bank, they offer an incredible rate at 4.35% for both their checking and their savings with no requirements at all. Combine all those things together, and they offer most all the features you'd expect from an online bank. Now I'm gonna quickly review the free tool that I have available to you in the description below. The tool is located in Google Sheets, and for some people, the Google Sheets doesn't always allow them to make any of the changes. If that's the case for you, then you can download it and make any change that you'd like. When you first open up the file, there are two tabs on the bottom where the first one is the tool, and the second are the details. In looking at the tool, you can enter a fictitious amount that you typically have in your checking and your savings account. Once you do that, the sheet self-populates what you'd expect at the end of the year for the given rates for each bank. For my example, let's put in $5,000 in checking and $5,000 in savings. With that entered, you can scroll down and see that Primus Bank would provide the highest payout at $435. You can also click on the detail tab where I outline most all of the specifics and requirements for each bank for you to review on your own. And I am the first to admit that I'm much better at updating the rates on the tool page more so than the details page. That concludes my video on the six best banks with varying forms of requirements. I hope that you managed to get some value out of today's video. Thanks for watching.